Yay, the Lord is good. And all the time. The Lord is good. Singe ni lege 2023. We have entered in the year 2023. And the same kwanza ya umuhle. The one that he serve is great. And usazo kwenzi zinde inkulu. And he's still gonna do great things. And usazo nyaga zemshabeni. And the earth is gonna be shaken. I'm beseeching you, brethren, as we have started this year, as I've declared that the year 2023 is the year of the Lord's favor. The favor of the Lord is upon us. I want you to know. You mustn't be ashamed of that. And the favor will abound. You see, in this year, you need to be gracious and have more favor. Have more. Have more. Be kind with people. Wish them well. Bless people. Do you hear me? This, this, year. this is not the year for jealousy. But it's the year of the Lord's favor. Upon me there is favor. Goodness and mercy follows me. And this favor is upon me. And this favor is upon me. And this favor is upon me. And this favor is And this favor is upon me. It is working with me. And it surrounds me. It surrounds me to help me. It holds me by the hand and run with me. It will introduce me among great people. It will introduce me to people whom I know and those that I don't know. If there is something that you need to shake off around you, it's what we call laziness. Say, I'm dusting off the laziness. I'm dusting off the laziness. I don't know. You are not practicing what you say. You don't mean it. I can see that I'm speaking with you, but you don't mean it. I'm, I'm shaking off the laziness. Now, why believe you? Shake off from the north, east, south, west. Do a turn around, you lazy one. Destroy the laziness psychologically. I believe you now. I believe you. That you have dusted off the laziness. Sit down. I won't stop you from standing. Stand up and interrupt. Do you hear me? Something else that you need to shake off this thing is a doubt. Do you know to doubt? What is it to doubt? Just shake off the doubt. How do you dust it off? To be a believer. You see, guna banta baktu a baktu bungula. There are people who analyze. Ngala ma umtu bungulu, tu bungulu ya uya pambili la uya kona. When you analyze, analyze while you are going forward. Guna mshini ebizo guti ama detector. There are machines called the detectors. Oguti manga buye airport sulula guona lomshini. That's when you go to airport, you pass through these machines. Lomshini uskena yonki intu guena. This machine scan everything. Uskena yonki tese squamenta. And everything that is in your back. It is programmed that when it finds something that is like iron, it will sound because it doesn't want the weapons. 
It doesn't want their hazardous things. So now, even you, you need to program your body to be able to sense people that are not good. And then you will know that when it's Allah, then that person is not good. You need to pass through. But I'm going to teach you as we continue. Because this year, I want to emphasize what you see behind me. We are growing bigger. We are growing better. We are growing broader. And I will emphasize these things with accordance to what is going to be your formula to grow. Because it is important we as the church to arise at this point in time, we have allowed the world to lead us. But we are supposed to allow the Holy Spirit to lead us. Because I believe this year we are going to experience the favor in an unprecedented way. In a way that is unprecedented. We are going to need people to be believers. We're going to need people to be bold. We're going to need people to be courageous. We're going to need people to be selfish a little bit. What do I mean when I say you need to be selfish a little bit? It means don't waste time with people who are going nowhere. Don't spend time with gossipers. Don't spend time with people who are criticizing people without constructive criticism. Move with the people who are moving. Am I talking to the right people? You need to purpose to be fruitful this year. You must learn to empower your life. Are you getting it? You, you, you need to tell yourself this is my year. And also don't be afraid to fail. Don't plan to fail but don't be afraid to fail. Because when you fail you learn. Learn from your mistake. Don't live in your mistake. Learn from your mistake. Nobody will feel sorry for you. Stand up and pick up yourself. And go. This is the journey. If we are on the journey, we will face things that we have never encountered before. Because it is the journey. We will meet people that we have never met before. Because it is the journey. Another thing that we need to, 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 to let go of our life is the fear of the unknown. We need to let go. Say, I'm releasing the fear of the unknown. I'm releasing to Jesus. I have faith. I am a believer. I am a mover. I am a well shaker. Are you getting it, Church of God? The Lord has given us the world or the earth to be our place to be fruitful. It has been given to us as the children of men. 
Babantu. Babantu. And also as the children of God. We need to be fruitful. We need to multiply. We need to replenish. We need to subdue. We need to dominate. This is our world. This is our earth. We must be the salt of the earth. We must be the light of the world. The Lord trusts us. He believes in us. We are called a fourteen. Hallelujah. Just imagine the president of the universe believes in me. It is an amazing and a wonderful information to know that. The creator of the universe believes in me. I am the partner of God Almighty. I am the representative of God. I am the mouthpiece of God. I am the demonstrator of things that God is doing behind the scene. I am productive in this world. It is about time the church take the leadership position. Are you getting it? It is the time where we as the church takes over domination. We have a face of a lion. We have a face of an eagle. We have a face of an ox. We have a face of a man. What does that mean? We are fully equipped to face whatever is coming on our way this year. We need to turn our focus purposely to Jesus. Jesus. We need to change our faces purposely. To change your face and focus on what you want to see. Most of believers, they are facing the devil. They are looking for the devil wherever he is. That's a problem. It's one of the things that hinder us from growing better or bigger. We are looking for trouble. We are looking for negative things. But I'm not looking for negative things. I'm not looking for the devil. I'm not looking for the enemies. I'm looking at the opportunities. I want to make my life better. I want to be productive. There is one thing that, uh, that I know. <laughs> that people will respect you. When you are fruitful. People cannot deny that you are fruitful when you are fruitful. You can't deny a prosperous person. Either he posted or he didn't post it online. When a person is fruitful, he's fruitful. You can't say he's not fruitful. I will repeat myself. You cannot deny when somebody is fruitful. That's a thing we as the church we are lacking of. 
We are lacking the fruits. Let the fruit speak for you. Let them talk for you. Let them go before you. Let them be the light for you. Let them bring dignity into your name. Let them defend you. Let them show that your God exists. Are you getting it? You must purpose that I want to be fruitful. I want people to respect me. I remember a long time ago when I started the church. When I was growing our church, I said to myself, I want to grow this church. I don't want to be a famous person out there preaching in in revivals be famous everywhere but I said I want to build this church because when I build this church it will be building me and I focus on building this church and I focus on building leaders and I'm focused, I focused on building structures and work with you and the church grew. I wasn't popular out there. But I was popular inside. Me. I focused domestically. I focused domestically, that means in the church, in the house. And the, the church began to multiply. I began to plant other churches. The leaders that have produced inside. I Send them to lead those branches I've planted. Because I already, because I was focusing on raising leaders. So when you focus on raising leaders, that's another way of preparing yourself for multiplication. So when I multiply, uh, I didn't stress myself because I've got my sons and daughters. When I begin to multiply, I send my sons and daughters in my, in my multiplication. I work smart. I didn't uh, burn myself out you see sometimes some other pastors they, on one Sunday they make four services when you do that you will die young You will burn yourself out. So when I begin to multiply, and my fruits begin to speak for me. Who is this Swane? Where are you located? I said, I'm in different locations. Where are you? I'm in Durban. I'm at Skawini. Manzim Toti. Manzim Toti. Marispeke. Center Cow. I'm just pointing different locations. I'm in Pretoria. I'm at Lundi. I'm in different locations. How, how is that possible? And because I'm fruitful. People begin to respect me because of the fruits that I have. The church is lacking the fruit. Or oh, let me personalize it. Believers, Christians are lacking the fruit. We feel jealousy of people who are producing fruit. So 
So I want to encourage you. I want you to be fruitful. I want to prepare your mind that I want to be fruitful. Prepare your mind. I want to be fruitful. Tell yourself, I want to be fruitful. You tell yourself, I want to be fruitful. If you are fruitful, I want to be more fruitful. You see this year, you're going to see. Uzobona. I have purpose to be fruitful. And I want people around me who are going to be fruitful. Who have the mind. Who are going to be go-getters. Who people who are going to make things happen. People who are tired of being tired. People who are looking for opportunities. People who are hungry for success. People who are hungry for growth. People who want to be better. Without stepping on other people. Amen. Are you with me? In Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. God said be fruitful. Multiply. Replenish. Just imagine. He said it. He said it. Are you getting it? He said it. Who is the hindrance here? You. When God said, be fruitful, but you are holding your fruitfulness. How? By not believing and accepting what God has given you. God said, be fruitful. Be fruitful. When I, what you need to do, I am fruitful. What does it mean to be fruitful? It means whatever you touch. Multiply. Whatever you touch. Grows. Whatever you touch. Expand. Are you... You, you must be tired for unbelievers to look at you down. They must respect you. And they will say the big brother is coming. What, what, what are you saying big brother? Because they respect my fruit. Oh yeah. Have you ever heard when you try to put an idea in the first place? When people they will ask you, they will say, Oh, our great daughter has come. Now we are starting to see people. I want to lead such people who I want to lead people who will challenge their mentality not people who are beggars not people who are always looking for people who are we are working we are making things happen don't look at me if I love you I am telling you I love you so, so yes, now you know it. So, now there is something that I am doing do not look for I I now you know my figure when your friend who whispers you will say he, he will tell him that he told me on this day eh? 
speaking to me? you hear me? This is the time to work. If you want to believe it, we won't bother you. You will eat on your laziness. You will be alive with your who whispers negative things. We won't pay so to understand you. We will understand when you produce the fruits of your friend. We will be producing the fruits of our Father, of our Lord, of the Holy Spirit. And you will be producing the fruits of your Father. We need people who will be so minded, who will be so minded. You see, when we are restored, church, we need to bring back your dignity. You need to seek what you need to need to seek and deal with it. Let me repeat. You see what makes you know to prosper. You see, body language You see, the body language speaks. I want you to seek what you to do. Not Do not search Can I take your fortune? Can I take your fortune? Do you see me that I'm living with fortunes? I'm asking you. There are people who say I'm working through the people. I was blessed. My name is a blessing. I want to work through your fortune. It needs to be revealed that you it be seen. I don't know if you hear me. Because you listen too much to your friend. Do you hear me? Do not keep on blaming people if you're not prosper. Do, do not blame your grandmothers and your mothers and your fathers and your At this age, you are still blaming people who died long time ago instead of taking a responsibility. And you will say, my success is my because I am blessed. Because I'm filled with the Holy The one who resurrected the one who was crucified on the cross the one the one who sits on the and where I'm sitting I am in the I am sitting on the throne and I'm going to make things happen do you hear me? Do you hear me, brethren? Do not blame people if they are prospering. Blaming my brethren. They are gossiping me. They are speaking about me. They are making you famous. They are making you famous. You see, if you are not speaking about you, that means what you are doing is not, does not have impact. They are speaking about We will hear it and this will just pass. Told the other ear, but they will see us being fruitful. That's what I have to You will keep on seeing me being fruitful. To, to you will testify. To go down, you won't testify it. You won't see it happening. You see, to go down, it is a choice. It is a choice. Amen. Let me repeat. To go down, it is a choice. 
I can stumble but I didn't go down I was just stumbling oh I got stumbled I'm picking myself up I'm getting back to my position I'm not the one who sat down. That's why the Bible says the rush falls seven times. And seven times we arrive. Why am I going to sit down? Who's going to do things for me if I sit down? Believe it. Let us change the way we think. Don't think that is the laying of hands. Let me make you to prosper. But even to change your mentality. That will make you to prosper. Let me repeat. Let me repeat. It is to change your mentality. It is to change your perspective. It is to change your mentality. That will make you to prosper.